The price of success is hard work, dedication, and the conviction that we have given our all to the task at hand. Good afternoon. Welcome to the launching of Adescriptio, the teacher education program's research journal. I am Renalyn M. Tapales, and I will be your host for this event. To kick off this afternoon's program, we are pleased to have our dynamic dean, Dr. Arlene M. Floretta, to deliver her opening remarks. Good day, everyone. Research is part of university life. In fact, part of the academic life, even in basic education. It is because research drives development in various aspects of our existence. To name a few, products are improved, policies are developed, and practices are made better as a result of the varied methods of inquiry. Since research is part of the curriculum, students, through the guidance of their advisors, have been producing researches, where findings are shared to a limited few because theses are seldom used as a reference, and opportunity for presentation is also scant. It is our desire to share the knowledge drawn from the efforts of students and advisors in their quest for truth. We wish that more students and researchers can make use of the findings and reflect on the recommendations put forward by the teams of researchers. This desire has given birth to the TEP journal called Edo Scriptio. What it means and the content of the first volume will be revealed in a while. On this occasion of the launching, we thank you for joining us in this milestone of the teacher education program. We know that we have a long way to go to flourish and make this journal a good one. We continue to pray that our spirit in the pursuit of truth as part of the Orion mission will sustain us in this endeavor. To you all, a happy welcome and good afternoon. Thank you, Mom Arlene, for that short rationale why Ada Scriptio came into being. At this juncture, we have our message from our ever-supportive Vice President for Academic Affairs, Reverend Father Randy Jasper C. Ochege. spirits to pursue creative educational practices and theories as we continue to labor to transform our society and community. Lucheat Lux Vestra, Nunc et Semper. Thank you very much, Father Randy, for your heartwarming message. Power is gained by sharing knowledge, and that the only way to ensure the immortality of what we have known is by sharing it. At this point, 
we will learn about the first research journal of the teacher education program. Let us welcome our dear supervising instructor, Mamriyomi Ohaliasgo, as she introduces to us the Ediscriptio. Program deans, library director and staff, thesis advisors, authors, researchers, TEP faculty and students, good afternoon. As we officially launch the TEP journal no, today, no, we would also like to gladly share with you what's behind the name. Edo scriptio comes from two Latin words, educari and scriptio. Educari in Latin means to nourish or to bring up, while scriptio, on the other hand, in Latin, means words for writing. Literally, it means writings and education, but for us, edu scriptio means not just any form of writings, but researches in education compiled in a handy booklet or journal, thus edu scriptio. Articles in the first volume center on the raggle-taggle effects of COVID-19 in the experiences of learners in different levels and contexts. A quick glance of the table of content shows that the articles are about the varied experiences of learners, teachers, and parents in the different modalities of remote learning covering the modular and online learning in the context of the pandemic. May this volume share in the continuous search for knowledge among educators to improve teaching and learning experiences that would bring about enriched and relevant outcomes for our learners. Thank you. Thank you, Mom Ryumi. Now we know where the name Adescriptio is derived and what its significance to the teacher education Program. So it came from the uh, it came from coin Latin words educare and scriptio, which could means writing and education. But in our case, it refers to the journal that contains the researches of our TP students and their thesis advisors. That sounds great. Okay, and these are in article format for easy writing. And oh, not all have that. I think that is something that we should be thankful about. So we should be thankful to those who really spearheaded this. So, so let us know who they are. Let's watch this video. Hats off to the members of Addis Crypto Editorial Board for making this a research journal possible. At this point, let us unravel the content of the Addis Crypto with the respective authors. So you can comment or show your reactions if you know these people. So without further ado, here is the first uh, volume and content of the Addis Crypto.
Wow, congratulations to the authors. I wish I'd see my name in the next volume. <laughs> this time, let us refresh our brain through a trivia game. So there will be four questions that of the journal. Again, who designed the cover of the journal? Okay, you may start typing your answers now. Okay, who designed, who do you think um, is the person who designed the cover of the journal? All right, time's up. Let's uh, reveal the answer. All right. Okay. Who do you think who designed the cover of the journal? Okay, gusto niyo ba ng hint? <laughs> Kung sino yung nag-design ng cover ng ating journal? Na add a script, yeah. Alright. Okay, so hint, magbibigay ako na isang hint. Um, itong taong to is teacher na siya ngayon. Alright, he's, um, he's already a teacher right now. All right, let's reveal the answer. Okay, the correct answer is Mr. Clint Roger Douglas. And our winner is Noni Alvin Lerita. Okay, see Noni, um, I forgot the name again, uh, Miss Noni, uh, Mr. Noni Alvin Lerita. Okay, so congratulations, he is our first winner. Okay, so let's proceed to our second question. Okay, so for our second question, you need to name one of the editorial board of the Addis Crypto Journal. Again, you need to uh, you need to name one of the editorial board of the uh, Addis Crypto Journal. All right, kailangan meron siyang at. Uh, First name, chaka middle name, uh, middle initial rather, and also the last name. Kasi isa lang yung hinihingi natin dyan, sa, sa tanong natin. Okay, again, you need to name one of the editorial board of the Addis Crypto Journal. Alright, so we have three, pero pwede lang na isa lang yung ibigay ninyo. Okay. So let us uh, reveal the answer first. Okay, so we have Dr. Arlene M. Floretta, Mrs. Riomi O. Haliasgo, and Mrs. Grace B. Lumakang. So our winner for our number two question is Mr. Harvey John Dino. Again, Mr. Harvey John Dino. So congratulations, Mr. Harvey. Okay, down to our last two questions. Okay, for our third question, we have, okay, so our question is the Latin word for writing in which part of the journal's name was derived. Again, the Latin word for writing in which part of the journal's name was derived. So, I mentioned uh, kanina kung ano yung Latin word na yun, which means writing. All right, so you may start um, typing your answers. Okay, time's up. Okay, let's reveal first the correct answer for this. Okay, so our answer for the number three question is, is crypto. Okay, so our winner for our third question is, Okay, Mr. Marlo Joseph Rafada. Again, congratulations, Mr. Marlo Joseph Rafada. Okay, and for our last question, okay, what is our last question? What do you think is our last question? All right, so our last question, the Latin word which means to nourish. Again, the Latin word which means to nourish. 
yung kanina yung tanong is kung ano yung um, Latin word for the word writing. Ngayon naman, yung question natin is what is the Latin word which means to nourish? Ayan. Okay, so I think our... Okay, so I think we need to... We have already our winner. Okay, not yet. Okay, what do you think is that Latin word which means to nourish? Okay, gusto nyo ba ng hint? Charot lang. <laughs> hindi pwede natin, hindi pwedeng sabihin yung hint. Okay, so um, let's reveal first the correct answer for this question. Okay, our answer is Educare. Ayan, Educare. And our winner is Miss Cherry Ladaga. Ayan, congratulations to all of our winners. And again, uh, you can, um, you may claim at the TP Dean's office. And that wrapped our event this afternoon. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this launching event of Edescriptio. Once again, I am Renalyn Tapales, leaving you a quote from Benjamin Franklin that says, Investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Okay, and join us in the singing of the FSU hymn. Good afternoon. <laughs>